Hello Internet, thank you for coming back to watch another video with Fun Guy Mycology where we teach you all about how to grow any kind of mushroom, be it medicinal or gourmet. In this video we're going to be talking about how to take clones from plates. So transferring a culture from one colonized plate onto another plate so that you can continue the life cycle. The culture that we will be using today is Alliance main culture that we have been working on since a previous video. So this is going to be a continuation in the video series where we're going to be following from the beginning up until the fruiting of how to grow Lion's Mane. So I hope you follow me in that process and as you see here we are wiping down our plates to begin getting everything clean before we start working on it. I can't emphasize enough. The more you wipe down and sterilize, the less chances you have of contaminating your culture. As a side note, I did want to mention, I have created a Discord channel for our community. So if you would like to be part of everything that we are doing with Fungi Mycology, the different fruits that we are growing and the different projects that we are embarking on, feel free to follow us on our Discord and help support our community. Now I've mentioned in other videos, but the media that I use is a combination of peptone, yeast, and light malt extract, uh, of course combined with agar so that it has that gelatinous substance to be able to do the transfer from. This is my preferred media that I've worked um, for probably a half a year at this point. I used to only use light malt extract, but I found that yeast and peptone really help the culture stake off, especially the ones that are more prone to contamination. Now we're gonna zoom in in a second as I take the, the fur transfer. I want you to see close up exactly where we are selecting our transfers from. Obviously when I place the original transfer in the middle of the dish, the culture will grow outwards until the edge of the dish. So once I get it to around where I still have about half an inch to a quarter of an inch uh, of media still showing, I will take the cut from the edge of where the colonization is continuing. As I've shown in other videos, we want to sterilize the blade by getting it red hot with a torch before we go ahead and take our cut. So I give it a couple of seconds till it's cooled a little bit and then I'm going to come in and like I said, we are going to be going from within the culture to the edge where it is continuing. I like to do triangles for these types of transfers. There are different shapes that I do depending on what I'm doing, but for this transfer I went with a triangle shape. Now you see I nicked it a little bit with the edge of the plate, but that is no problem. And I want to place it again in the middle of the next plate. All the condensation that you see there should not give any problems to the growth of the culture and it eventually will disappear. Now I, I switch things around because I noticed that there was a little bit of condensation on that plate as well. So I'm going to be using another plate here that doesn't have as much condensation just for aesthetic purposes. But again, the condensation is not going to give too much of a problem uh, as long as it doesn't have any excess condensation. We're going to be retorching our blade until it is red hot. Again, we do this to avoid any possible contamination that may have fallen on the blade as we were moving things around for the next transfer. Now, it gives me enough time between the blade cooling down and grabbing the plate, so that way I can take the transfer that we're going to do for the next one. We're going to follow the similar process where we're going to be doing a triangle shape coming from the inside of the culture until the edge where it is uh, colonizing. I try to go a little bit inward so I can pinch the triangle shape that I'm going to be transferring over to the next plate and I place it very carefully onto the middle of the plate. This transfer came out a lot more clean since there is no condensation. Now where you see the white in the triangle that's the mycelium that is going to crawl off of the original transfer onto the plate onto the media and it is going to once again colonize that next plate. That is how I continue growing mushrooms without having to purchase cultures over and over again. Additionally, by doing so, you can select the healthier parts of the culture to continue cloning it. And this is where genetic work starts to take place. 
the isolation of certain phenotypes and the isolation of certain genetic traits that you want to continue within the genetic line that you are working on. We will be doing more videos on that in the future, but uh, as for this video, all we're going to be doing is just wrapping up our plates just to make sure that we are sealing the edges and avoiding any contamination. The parafilm can be a little tricky to use as I've shown in previous videos, so take your time with it. It can be a little frustrating, I know I've gotten frustrated in the past, but I use the uh, inside of the parafilm on the outside of the plate. I'm going to let it play here for a second as I finalize the plates, so enjoy some plate ASMR. Now the final thing we're going to do here is just to label our dishes as we've done in all our other videos. Again, this is Lion's Mane Culture, so I'm going to label it as such and I'm going to write the date on it so I know when I did these transfers. But uh, thank you for joining me on another video where we're teaching you how to grow mushrooms. Feel free to follow me on my social media and uh, follow me on Instagram. Any support will really be appreciated. Have a good one.